What was your most epic moment? I'd have to say that my most epic moment was when... In hard, used all of me to get what you want. Took off so fast and then jacked my spark. Then lit my whole So I smoked my cigarette and I'll try, try to. It's almost that time again. It's time for and reminisce about the good times. Maybe feel bad for some of the sad times. When I think back on my 2019, it was honestly I can say was the. The most productive year of my life so far in my in my career. What was your most epic moment? I'd have to say that my most epic moment was when I was performing on stage at the Pride Festival in Albuquerque this past summer, and I actually had a backup dancer, and with the young kids screaming, and there were so many people there, I really felt like I was Britney Spears for a second. I think that the hardest part of the Emmy race was definitely the editing. Also, the casting, working with so many different people and making sure that we all, you know, stayed together in time to complete filming, you know, that was, um, required me to be really dedicated to those people. And also those people were very, very dedicated to me. Thank you guys, by the way. My biggest show of 2019 in terms of attendance, I believe, was either at the Pride Festival this past summer or at the Gypsy Festival this past August. Um, yes. So those are two really amazing shows. Really excited that I got to do both of those. Shout out to all the people who were at those venues. Love you guys. Hopefully we'll see each other next year. Who's your biggest influence? i say the biggest influence of my life for 2019 in terms of um, the, the actual media and, and people that I actually see every single day. I'd say Lizzo was a huge influence this year for me. Um, just her embracing of herself um, was just epic. And plus the fact that, you know, she is, you know, um, she's not, you know, 20, 21 years old and, you know, a freaking pop star. She's a little bit older and it took her a little bit more time. So coming from myself, I, I can definitely respect that. Who's your biggest inspiration? I said my biggest inspiration of 2019 would definitely have to be my nieces and my nephew because I see them being affected by so much of the media nowadays and I really want to do what I can to uh, get us, make sure that we're going to be staying in, in the right direction, whatever direction that we go. I headlined over 20 shows over the course of about five months with, uh, venues such as the, as, which, with venues such as the Social Club and Sidewinders, as well as the Gypsy Festival, um, Pride Festival, Santa Fe Pride Festival. Sorry. The moment of 2019 would definitely have to be day two of the Live Like You Can't Die video shoot, which had us filming it during the same time as a show was going on. Um, it was just nice to be finally embraced at a community level. So what was your most epic moment of 2019? Tell me in the comments, and please subscribe to this channel every time that you subscribe. It like really does subscribe. help me get fried. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot what I was saying. Um, how, how was your 2019? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And um, thank you for watching. See you next year. Girl, you can't get me in the middle of my fucking trying to be genuine because you're cutting off me while I'm trying to be. <laughs> okay, we'll say see you next well, year. Well, because I'm trying to be sweet and like, you're not fucking with my sweetness. So now it's going to be four.